Today we're going to be taking a closer look at the latest release from Lumix and that is the 100mm f2.8 macro. And as you can see it's the exact same sort of size and form factor as all of the other 1.8 primes which I'm really happy about. And before I delve into the specs of this lens I just want to cover the pricing really quickly. Um, so this lens will cost around 999 US dollars or 1099 euros and I'm guessing around a thousand pounds too although I've not been told the actual price in pound sterling yet but I'd say somewhere around the £1,000 price point. So let's talk a little bit more about the physical characteristics of this lens. And there's only two differences between the 100mm macro and the other 1.8 primes that have already been released by Lumix. And the first one is the second switch on the body of the lens. So of course we're used to seeing the AF-MF switches on the Lumix lenses, but on this macro we also of course have the focus distance switch as well. And there's three different settings on this switch. We have full 0.5 meters to infinity, and then 0.204 to 0.5 meters. Um, so that's really nice because of course if you are trying to focus on a subject really close you don't want your focus to be jumping to the background so it's nice that you can actually set where you want the camera to be looking to acquire focus and that can be really useful when you are trying to focus closely. So that's one physical difference and then the second one is actually the printing on the front of the lens um, because the text on the front of the 100mm macro has been greyed out very much like the S52X's writing and Lumix told me that the reason for this is to actually reduce reflection when shooting macro. So it's a small, subtle change, but it's extremely good to see that the design team are thinking that deeply about the use of this lens and how it functions in its use case. So I'm really, really excited to see this change. I'd actually like it if all of the Lumix lenses had this grayed up writing because I think ever since the S52X, the whole blacked out look has looked really stealthy and really nice. Aside from those two things, the 100mm macro is pretty much identical in every every other regard to the 1.8 primes. And that is a design triumph in of itself because most of the time macro lenses do tend to be a lot larger and a lot heavier than this. In fact, the 100mm f2.8 macro only weighs 300 grams, meaning that it's literally half of the weight of all of the other macro lenses that have similar specs on the market. Lumix were able to achieve this because of a new technology that they've implemented in this lens for the very first time, and that is the brand new dual linear phase focus motor. And I'd absolutely love to be able to tell you guys exactly how that works on an engineering level, but I'm not an engineer and I've got no idea really, so instead I'm just gonna tell you what they told me when they were explaining it to me. So essentially for many years, Lumix have been developing the contrast-based autofocus system, which has meant that they've had to look at their hardware as well because of course they've wanted to make their their lenses and their bodies focus as quickly as possible. So when you're focusing with a lens, of course that means that the focus motor has to shift those big heavy lens elements inside the barrel of the lens as quickly and as accurately as possible to acquire focus. So now that they've moved to the Facetech autofocus system, they can take all of this research and development and knowledge from the contrast days, move it over to the Facetech system to create something that gives you fast, accurate and reliable autofocus because the focus motor is strong enough to move those glass elements really quickly and really accurately. And that is essentially how they've been able to make this lens so small is with this dual linear phase focus motor. The 100mm macro has a maximum close focusing distance of 20.4 centimeters and a magnification ratio of one to one. A lot of manufacturers will slap the word macro into the title of the lens and then claim that it's a macro lens. But in reality, if you want true macro performance, you need to have a magnification ratio of at least one to one. And if you don't know what that means, in a nutshell, it's basically when the subject that you're taking a photo of is projected as the exact same size on the imaging sensor in the final image. So as an example, if you're taking a photo of a ladybug that's two centimeters in size, then it means that the size of the ladybug in the final image will also be two centimeters meters and that gives you a one-to-one -one, uh, magnification ratio and it's the most sort of true to life sort of magnification. So I've been playing around with this lens for a while and I've got to say that I'm extremely impressed with it and it's definitely one that's going to be staying in my lens kit because it is super lightweight, it is super small and it is extremely sharp with very, very accurate autofocus. Everything about using this lens is an absolute delight, it's a pleasure. Um, I do think that the lens is extremely sharp too, even at f2.8 but of course when you're getting really close to your subject then you need to have a smaller aperture to get as much of that subject in focus. 
focus. Um, but that being said, even though it is a macro lens, it's also fantastic for portrait stuff as well and works great as a conventional lens for those who don't want to be taking photos of things really up close. Um, so yeah, it's a really great focal length as well. I mean, 100 millimeters at f2.8, you're going to get a lot of background separation there too. Um, yeah, it's just a very pleasing lens to use. And honestly, if you pick one up and try one for yourself, you're going to love it. I'll try and share as much as I can here on the channel with you guys as I continue to test this lens. But I've got to say, honestly, it's a fantastic addition to the L-mount ecosystem, a fantastic addition to the overall Lumix lens roadmap. And I've got to say, it just shows exactly how Lumix are innovating in this space to make the best products for their users.